were on our way to Alabama when we stopped in Laurel and we couldn't leave, we loved it. But these are not Granny and Grandpa here. They're adventurous, they wanna travel, move well, to a place they've never lived before. 1,800 square feet is about perfect for us. A Couple of bedrooms and a porch. 240,000 would be the, the neighborhood we'd be most comfortable in. That's not my budget. I say we stay under 300. What do you think? I'm, you <laughs> know, 100 is under 300. Okay. <laughs> this is the Elsie house. It's the Elsie house because they have owned the house for over 120 years, oh, which is pretty wow. cool. It's three bedrooms, one bath, 1,500 square feet, and they're asking 65 grand for it. It's gorgeous. I mean, I, obviously it needs work, but oh my gosh, that porch, big porch. <laughs> so if you look over here, it's walled up. The porch used to go all the way around the oh, house. Oh, really? Oh. All the way around the Can house? Can that be opened up again? Could be. It's got three bizarre front doors. Oh, OK, There's those aren't windows, those are doors. Those okay. are doors in the weirdest place possible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. The wraparound porch that wraps all the way on the right side we want to carry that all the way around on the left side, too. So opening up the porch on this side and then giving you a central welcoming entrance point with two custom-made double doors and then to paint it creamy white. This is beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love this cedar tree. We have a pine allergy. That would have to go. My daughter couldn't even come on the property. She's a little rough. It can only get better. <laughs> Kind of smells a little musty in here. Oh, yeah. A little? Just ignore everything about the way this house looks inside and think about what it's got going for it. She's the one with the imagination. I just see the grunge. Look at the size of these ceilings. It's amazing. See? Yeah. I like your optimism. I need high ceilings is a good yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up with this rug in my home in the I think 70s. this is the same yeah. rug that yeah. was in my bedroom. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Do we know if there's anything under these floors? Judging by all of the renovations, I'm pretty sure it's going to be plywood or something okay. underneath here. Well, that's a shame. What we want you to do is look at everything in this house and forget it. Come that's on okay. in to the master suite. Doesn't it look so peaceful? Oh. Yep. It's yes. ugly, I know. I'm Don't sorry. Don't pay no attention <laughs> to the finishes. Check that out. Wouldn't you love to sleep in this, this room? Hey, no. It's spooky. And this is very hard to imagine as a kitchen, but Look at how much space you've got. Well, this is a big room. Yeah. And this is where your cabinetry would live. Your oven and hood vent would be on this wall. Hmm. Your sink would be over here. We could build a big island right in the middle of the kitchen. This becomes a large cased opening. And then that's the foyer. Through another cased opening would be your living room and it'd be super spacious. And we would have white oak flooring throughout the house. Ah. Oh, perfect. Yes, the house is $65,000. So we don't. Everything we've talked about doing would be $150,000. All in. 215. 215? Okay. I'm thinking that's we're ahead of the ball game because I'd have gone deeper. All right, well, we'll try to be really quick since it's raining. This is the Hinton house. J.L. Hinton bought the house in 1943 and it stayed in the Hinton family until 2004. Built in 1922. It's 1,800 square feet, so it's a little bit bigger. Still three bedrooms, one bath. They're asking 115,000, which is a bigger number. But you'll see why it's a bigger number when we go inside. What's going on with this? It's a strange awning. What is it? It's just a little... A uh, is it metal? Or yes, yeah. metal, but it's kind of sagging. It's obscuring the windows. No, we're not keeping that. We're not. I have a painting. I'll show you the plan. Okay, here we go. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, oh yeah, oh. that is. Do beautiful. you like yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That color is great. <laughs> it's Tiffany blue. I think could really Tiffany work. Blue, Tiffany yeah. blue on this house, and we definitely need to take down the metal awning so we can uncover those windows on the side, and then add brick to the skirting around mm -hmm. the porch. That'd be nice. So it's not wide open underneath, and a new custom front door. Centered. Oh, that is off center, isn't it? It's is. off center, yeah. yeah it is. And it comes with two gnomes. Wow, gnome way. Oh, yeah. Yes! Oh, yeah. Gosh. Those are yours. This house has been recently updated with electrical and plumbing and heat and oh, air. Oh, that's the difference in the cost then. Yes. Something yes. we wouldn't have to put in this one that we do have to put in there. Right. So aesthetically, it may be not your style, and that's the stuff that's easy to change. Wow. Isn't that a beauty? This is the big island it is, of yeah. Hawaii. They took the corner off here just so you can't yeah, do that. Yeah, now I can do it twice here. And when I when when I go like that, then I bang into this side. The good news is it's gone. 
It's out of here. Because yeah, we I have agree. a plan to make this kitchen completely custom and just for you guys. Well, what if that entire back wall were reconfigured to be two double doors? And then we have your sink over here, but then we bring your oven and hood vent on this side on the center of this wall. Okay. And the refrigerator would be right here. A pantry on this wall, and we have tons of storage all the way around the rest mm -hmm. of the kitchen. That sounds really good. It could be pretty, yeah. huh? Yeah. Let's see this master bedroom bath. It's a nice size room. Yes, it is. This is the weird thing about this house, is this is the only bathroom. So. It's a Jack and Jill between this bedroom and the bedroom at the front of the house. There's another bedroom over there that looks just like this one. It's actually, yeah. Like so the that same one, size. to use the bathroom, would have to come out of that yeah. bedroom through this bedroom to use the bathroom. That's great at 2 o'clock in the morning, isn't mm -hmm. it? Well, yeah. Hey, good morning. Sorry. Hey. Sorry. Very, yeah. very quiet. You know, you'd be able to get the house for $115,000. The renovation all in would be around 125,000. So the house would come in around 240,000. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go with the Elsie house. The Elsie house. house. We're going for it. We are. Tall ceilings. And it, it's just that porch. Yeah. We can't think about passing up the porch. We're going to put all our trust in you guys to make that what we want. Some real nice particle boy. Oh man, I was really hoping we were gonna find something good. I mean, somebody obviously just wanted storage more than they wanted a wraparound porch. I don't know why else you would do it. The porch used to go all the way around. It doesn't currently. Probably the first time somebody's been in here in years. What's the deal with the spider webs? They're everywhere. I'm sure there's a web going somewhere here. Where? I think I got, there it is, I got it. What's gonna be easier? Pulling this in or knocking it out or pulling it out from the outside? I say outside, peel the side and all. God bless! <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Bringing it back all the way around. We're in the foyer. Well, foyer here, living room. Living room. Foyer. I'm going to the kitchen. Kitchen. Kitchen! And then this case opening here, we're actually gonna move it out a little bit so that way our foyer can be centered and we can maximize our kitchen dining space right yeah. here. Yeah, and then imagine you're in here and you're cooking a meal in the kitchen and the fire is burning in the living room and you can feel it and you can see it. And what a dreamy house. I love this cedar tree, but I would love it a lot better as the downtown Laurel Christmas tree. That's not why we're gonna take it down though. The homeowners actually want us to take it out. Miss Sandy is allergic to evergreens. Cedar's not as bad, but their daughter is like deathly allergic. She can't come to the house with this tree here. So we're gonna take it out. All right. How do we need to go about this? First, we're gonna get in there and take all those bottom limbs down so we can get in there and notch it and drop it toward the road. Awesome. All right. It smells like Christmas. Except it's 80 <sighs> degrees. Oh, yeah. yeah. Finally. The door is in the middle, mm -hmm. right where the stairs are. Where go. it should be. And this house is no longer off balance. A lot of changes are happening inside. We've got white oak flooring coming in. Paint is going up everywhere. What I'm noticing is the front of the house is starting to look a little too new construction, especially now that the paint is on. So I want to bring in some character and some age with old shutters that would be on each side of the double doors. And it would also be something you'd typically see like on a classic Southern style house, which is kind of the influence that we're going with on this house. And I'm in love. I love those things. Aren't they great? Ugh. They're a little splintery. They are. Be careful touching them. Welcome to the star house. <laughs> I'm speechless. This is wonderful. 
It is. I think when people think of what it's like to live in the South, this is the picture they see in their mind. I just love that we were able to get this house balanced and symmetrical because before you had three bizarre front doors. Look at oh, that it's front gorgeous. door. The door is excellent. The shutters by the side of the doors. That I like. Yeah. That yeah. really makes a statement. It does. Oh, that whole left side is all opened up now. That's wonderful. This is truly a wraparound porch. 360 degrees. I want to sit on that porch today. I don't care if it's 30 <laughs> degrees out. But we cut down the massive yeah. cedar tree. Which is now in downtown Laurel. Is it? We is did it? see a tree down. The one in the park. See? We went by there yesterday and thought, nah, that can't be our tree. That's too big. <laughs> This is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Remember before how dark it was? Oh. It was terrible. I like the color. I know you love blues and whites. Because we made this a dog trot style house, you've got to have this grand entrance. And in a grand southern home, that entrance has got to have wallpaper. Right. This is beautiful. And no island, Sandy. And look at this table. It doesn't uh, whack my hips. It's about, you know, it's. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, zero entry shower. Oh, yeah. Glass yes. door. It's got yes. a little of a slant. Yes. It's a I slope, really so the water will Wall drain. Will drain. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh, this is nice. Shower head's nice and high. Thank you. Yes, you're very <laughs> welcome. Yeah, that makes a difference. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's beautiful. I think we're going to enjoy this.